Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. I think I've got that right. It is episode 39 of Small Business Connections. Today, I want to talk about something that's not marketing and is not sales and is not how to build your business. Instead, I want to talk about how to build you. And, and I'll tell you why. If we don't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of anybody else. I read, actually, I think it was on a podcast last week. I watched a podcast or listened to a podcast last week. Um, what was the name of it? I'm so sorry. I'm going to draw a blank. Lead to Win with Megan Hyatt Miller and her dad, Michael Hyatt. I guess he's the famous one. She's the one who's come in, but I absolutely adore her. And she talked about the fact that when we try to do everything, we're not practicing good stewardship. And I think that's really true. So in, in this case, she was talking about email, uh, our emails and how we go through them and how we sometimes don't delegate our work. And that doing that, we often feel like we're being selfish or we're taking away from people. And things that we should actually be doing. Mental health is very much like that. It's so easy to say, I'm having a tough day, but I've got a soldier on, or I'm really struggling, I'm really scared, I'm really afraid, I'm really sad, but I have to soldier on. And, and the truth is, we do. We really do. We have to soldier on, but we also have to soldier on in a way that is safe for our businesses because if we keep going and we don't take care of ourselves, we're in real trouble. I want to, Jessica just said, someone was just telling me I must sleep. And I think that's true. You have to sleep. So let's think of some of those things. Actually, Jessica, I wasn't going to go there, but I do want to talk about that. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you sleeping? Are you getting enough sleep? That's a huge part of doing this. Getting enough sleep is a huge part of taking care of yourself. And so, Getting enough to eat, making sure that you're eating not just enough, but making sure that you're eating the right types of food to take care of your health, because your health and your mental health, they go hand in hand. Making sure that if you're going through a tough time, you're talking to somebody, whether that's a professional like a therapist or a uh, personal coach or somebody who can work with you on those things that you're feeling, or whether it's a network. Jessica's part of my network. Jessica's somebody I can call and say, oh my God, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? This is so hard. It is really hard to be a business owner. It's really hard to be an entrepreneur. It's really hard whether you have employees or not because it's lonely. Even in my family, I love my husband. He's a wonderful man. He's the one who said, start this business. But when I talk to him about my business, he doesn't get the pressures that I'm under. It's not his it's not his load to carry, so he's not carrying it. So for me, I have some business owners I work with. I talk to Jessica. I talk to Vince over at Chimney Tech. Actually, I've had a lot of the people I talk to on this show because we all talk to each other and say, hey, we're struggling. And I want to say this. I, you'll hear me say a lot check on your strong friends. And actually, Gavin Palmer, I have to tell you, Gavin Palmer's on here a lot. But one of the things I'm noticing, Gavin, is I'm hoping that, I, that I'm going to check on my strong friend right now. Let me know how you're doing. Because I do notice when I talk about mental health, you're on here a lot. Um, we are the strong ones. We're running businesses. So we have to be the strong ones, which also means people are less likely to check on us. People are less likely to reach out to us and see how we're doing. So we have to check on ourselves. What are some of the signs you should be looking for? And I'm going to tell you that. I want to give you some of the signs that you should be looking for. And I'm going to give it to you in a story. I, I have been there. In 2012, I ran Ironman. And it was, a uh, excuse my language, but an ass-kicking Ironman. I had an amazing day. You have 17 hours to finish. But I had planned on doing it in 15, and I did it in just over 13 hours. So I was absolutely amazed by my performance. I couldn't believe I did that. Six months later, I ended up on the psych ward. And there was a lot to that. But most of all, it was that I wasn't taking care of me. I was taking care of everybody around me. I needed help, and it took me a long time time to ask. So I want to tell you some of the signs that I could have seen ahead of time. Looking back, I'm like, oh yeah, that was a sign. So some of the signs. I 
consider myself to be a really nice person. And, and interestingly, just this morning, I was on a networking event with um, networking in Annapolis, and I made a joke about us not being nice people. And somebody said to me, oh, my gosh, it's so funny that you're the one that said that because I think you're the nicest one here. I try to be so nice. I, it's like something I pride myself on. But during this time period, I would scream at people in the grocery store because they could, weren't making their decisions fast enough or were in my way. I was a terror in the car. I was angry all the time and it was so out of character. So that was a sign. And I want to say, I want you to keep in mind that when I'm saying all of this, I'm saying to you, pay attention to the things that have changed, things that are out of character. So if you're not sleeping at all and you used to be able to sleep just fine. If you're sleeping all the time and can't get yourself out of the beds in the morning, bed in the morning, that's a sign. For me, one of the signs, and actually I'll see this now, as soon as I see this now, I am so very careful now if I, if I notice this in myself that I will call and say, hey, I think I need to talk to somebody. But if I get out of the shower in the morning and I wrap myself in the towel and I sit on the edge of the tub, and I can't make myself get dressed yet, usually that's a sign that I'm in trouble. I bet that there are things like that. Um, really a red flag, a sign is when you find yourself asleep in your office chair in front of your computer, maybe a sign. Absolutely, absolutely. It is, it, you've got to start looking for those signs. Uh, Gavin says, I'm just going to put them up here, Gavin. I just, let me tell you this, Gavin's down in Jamaica, he is the one who gave us a tour of the island. He took us around. He showed us everything. He got us a great boat tour. He did a lot of great things for us. Uh, took me to the falls uh, to climb the falls. Um, oh, it was wonderful. But he's running this business by himself, and he's got a lot of people he's taking care of. He says he's doing okay so far, so good, um, giving thanks and pulling through. It, the thing is, it's so easy for us to say we're okay. I want us to make sure that when we say it, Think about it. And as business owners, ask other business owners how they're doing. Because I think when we're doing this, it's easier to talk to another business owner. It's easier for me to say to Vince over at Chimney Tech, hey, I'm really having a hard time today. This is really hard. He sent me a message yesterday. He says, how the heck do you market in an era like this? How the heck do you market when you've got COVID-19 and you've got the protests and riots and, and looting and all of these things happen around you and the world seems like it's going to end. That's a scary time for a business owner. And it's a scary time for a lot of people. I am not negating a scary time for a lot of people. I want to say that. So I just want to remind you, though, that you deserve to take care of you. You deserve to make sure you're OK. And the people who depend on you, the people who depend on your business, not just your clients, but your employees and your families and the people who are depending on you to do what you do, they deserve you to be healthy. So please ask yourself these questions. So let's go back. So I was angry. So if your mood changes, if you've got a mood change that's much different than what you normally are, that's probably a sign. If you're not sleeping or you're not eating well, that's probably a sign. If you are, if you've stopped doing something you really love, that's a sign. I'll tell you for me, I used to run a lot. These days I'm biking a lot because I can't run anymore. But at the time when I was going through my really bad depression, I stopped running. And honestly, I just couldn't. It's very hard to cry and run at the same time. That was another sign. If you're crying a lot, I mean, crying is Gosh, what a great outlet. I love, I, I think it's really good to be able to cry. But if you're crying so much that it's interfering with other things, it's a sign. And asking for help is not a sign of weakness. I'm going to tell you that day that I made the phone call and said, hey, I'm really in trouble. I'm really in trouble. That was the hardest phone call I have ever made in my life. And I have done a lot of hard things. I've done Ironman. I've done 50 milers. I've done marathons galore. I've started a business. I've started a charity. I've done hard things. That was the hardest thing I've ever done. So I didn't want to take a lot of your time today, but I did want to take a few minutes to say, if you're struggling right now, and it would not be unusual for you to be struggling because we are going through some of the hardest times I have ever seen in, in our country. We're going through so, in the world, we're going through so much right now that we need to know it's okay to not be okay. You can 
ask for help and nobody's going to judge you as a matter of fact what you're going to find and i'll tell you what i found the minute i came out and said hey i've struggled with depression the minute i came out and said i was ready to die because i couldn't see a way out the number of people who have said to me oh i've been there the number of people who have shared their story and we're not talking i think people think Oh, in order to do that, you have to be a moper. You have to be somebody who lays on the couch all the time and you and you don't get anything done. No, I'm talking about people who own businesses. I'm not I'm talking about people who have run corporations. I'm talking about people who have done absolutely amazing things in this world. And they've struggled and it's okay. It can happen. So Steve, thank you for putting that. Good advice. It's okay to say you're not okay. I say something, I personally think it's funny, but it's also true. I say, if, if you say to somebody, how are you doing? And they say, fine. Fine is a four letter word that starts with F. It's not a good thing. So ask them again, how are you really doing? If you're worried about somebody, also I wanna remind you to look for these same things in them. All these changes, major changes, look for these things in them. If you're worried about them, please ask outright. You're not gonna put an idea in their head. But if you think they might be in real trouble, I just had this last week, I, I almost a stranger, a person I was talking to, and I said, how are you doing? And I and, and when she answered, and, and the answer was fine, I said, are you depressed? Are you going through a depression? And she admitted it. And, I, and the thing is, it's sometimes people need somebody to ask. Business owners, unfortunately, people don't ask us. So ask each other, ask your business owner friends, but also check in on yourself because you are your strong friend. Check on your strong friends. Before I go, I wanna give you a number. I wrote it down just so I'd make sure I got it right. If you're really in trouble, if you feel like, gosh, I, I if you think you're gonna, if you think you are gonna die by suicide today, if this is something you have planned and you've got it planned out and you can take one step towards not doing that, please call 911. If this is something that is on your mind in a deep way, but you don't have a plan yet, and you're just lonely and sad and don't know what to do, I want you to call the Suicide Prevention Hotline. I'm gonna give you that number. Um, if you're watching this, somebody please put it in the comments for us. It's 1-800-273-8255. Two seven three eight two five five. If you are struggling and you need somebody to talk to, please call the suicide prevention hotline. It does help. They will help. There is help for you out there. I hope you're doing okay. I really do. I say that at the end of every video. I say that because I mean it. If you're not doing okay, reach out, ask for help because you matter in the world. I know you matter. I've talked to so many of you. Actually, everybody I'm watching here come through. I know you personally, and I love you, and I'm here for you if you need me. So I hope you're doing okay, guys. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. And Jessica, thank you. You put the number up there for me. Thank you. Bye-bye.